Hello everyone, welcome to the only Office webinar. I'm Richard and I will be your host today. The next update version 2.5 of only Office DocSpace is now available with lots of enhancements. Would you like to explore this release in detail? Let's go. Only Office DocSpace is intended to improve collaboration on Office documents and other content with various people you need to interact with daily, such as your colleagues, teammates, customers, partners, contractors, sponsors, etc. The platform provides a room-based environment for organizing a clear file structure depending on your needs and project goals. Flexible access permissions and user roles allow you to fine-tune the access to the whole space or separate rooms. The latest update of only Office DocSpace comes with more than 25 new features and improvements. Version 2.5 is already available in the cloud. The self-hosted build for Linux and Windows will be updated shortly. Let's learn about the novelties. Share single files from the My Documents section with external users via link in case you don't want to create a separate room. Go to the File Context menu, Info, Share. Click Create and Copy and adjust the sharing settings. Select who will have public access to your file. Anyone with a link or DocSpace users only. Set the required permission level, editing, review, comment or read only. And if needed, set the time period after which the link will expire. You can also share your personal folders. In this case, a new public room will be created and all the contents of your folder will be copied there. Afterwards, you can invite other users to work on files, like to any other room. For more convenient work with rooms, you will find the following improvement. The ability to use third-party services as data storage for your public rooms. Among available storage services are Google Drive, OneDrive, Box, Dropbox, KDrive, Nextcloud, OwnCloud, and others working via the WebDAV protocol. While creating a new public room, activate the corresponding switcher. Select the preferred storage service in the drop-down list and click Connect. In the open window, enter the address of your storage as well as login and password and click Save. Then enable the option to create a new folder or select the already existing folder in the connected storage. In only Office DocSpace, you can work with any content you have, including Office files, PDF, multimedia. From now on, you are also able to view, create, and edit .md files, thanks to the new Markdown plugin, which is based on the Markdown it parser. At first, the Markdown plugin needs to be enabled by the DocSpace owner or administrator via the integration settings. Once activated, the plugin becomes available to all users via the Actions button more in the My Documents section or within any selected room. Only Office DocSpace 2.5 brings useful novelties for the account management. Thus, you can organize users into groups for more effective team management with an option to assign a group head. So in the updated account section, you will find two tabs, people and groups. For quicker navigation, you can now sort and filter users by group. For managing user groups, make use of the following options. Open a group as a folder to check all the required info and easily navigate back to the account section and invite the whole group to rooms for the roles of viewer, editor, commenter, reviewer, or form filler. Now let's take a look at the new settings and tools in only Office DocSpace 2.5, which will make your work more comfortable. Set the default storage quota per room or per user to control the disk memory consumption of your DocSpace with ease. User quota affects storage limit for the My Documents section of each user. Room quota can later be adjusted for each room individually by room admins. Apply ready-to-use presets to seamlessly embed DocSpace or its part into your web interface. You can embed the whole DocSpace, public room, editor or viewer, room or file selector, as well as use custom mode, which allows configuring all the parameters manually. Switch to Developer Tools, JavaScript SDK. To start the embedding process, add the URL of the site where you want to embed your DocSpace to the allow list. Then select one of the suggested rooms. For example, let's embed a room selected to allow users to access any room from the list of the available ones. If necessary, adjust the required parameters such as display width and height. Check the preview, copy the JavaScript or HTML code, depending on which option suits you, and embed it into your website. Success! Import data to your DocSpace from Google Workspace or only Office Workspace with just several clicks. You can import users with files, groups, and shared files and folders. Users of self-hosted DocSpace, please pay your attention. The next novelty is designed for you. 
Via the Spaces panel, you can now easily create multiple doc spaces and make them accessible to your users. This panel allows managing and configuring all your doc spaces at once. Apply branding, do backups and restore, pay and activate the license. For only Office doc space, up-to-date components and engines are used, such as .NET Core and the latest version of .NET for server-side, so a reliable backend, and React for the client side to ensure modern look and mobile friendliness. In the version 2.5, the tech stack is updated to ensure further reliable work, including Net8, distributed logs based on Redis, Zookeeper, Next.js library for document editor, asynchronous file upload, and faster downloading of larger files. Well, which new features do you like the most? The latest update is already available for only Office Docspace Cloud. Sign into your space to try all the new features yourself or create a free account if you are new to only Office Doc Space. Just scan the QR code and directly access the registration page. So, thanks everyone for being with us. We hope you enjoyed the webinar. Try only Office Doc Space 2.5 and share your impressions in social media channels. Your feedback is, as always, much appreciated. Thank you, have a good day, bye-bye.